yeah you see the three is it hawks or kites who are circling the air i find it very interesting ah uh, well what i'm feeling here is better than what i feel in the valley i'm in a very high land in the middle of uh, almost uh, the middle of uh, is it uh, Abuja? And uh, I experience uh, the air I'm experiencing here is like uh, I'm under an air condition. Most of you are scared of uh, the sun during the sunshine, you are scared of the rain when the rain is falling. You are scared of the thunder and lightning. You are scared of darkness in the middle of the night. And the question is, I uh, realize that uh, everything is all about uh, where you are, what you know, what you expect, but I know, I think I will have made a remark about that before. We are under the sea. I, by this I mean, life itself, or the world itself, is an egg of illusion of water. What some people call, uh, I think our ancestors, called it a uh, mami water. When they say mami water, some people confuse it to mean it was a mysterious woman who is from the bottoms of the sea. But if you look at, uh, if you go into our museums in African climb and across the world where they all have uh, works that were looted in Africa, you discover I have seen some, I'm talking out of ignorance, I'm talking as an artist because I know there have been some sculptural forms on wood of uh, men wrapped around them, reptilia representative, which could be snake, or women, part feminine up and uh, fish down or snake down, depending on who the artist and where he got the inspiration from. But what I'm saying is that if you are in a a very cold region, like some places like in Josh Plateau or maybe also so Highland or Mandela Plateau in my own territory, you will see if the weather is very cold. If you are breathing, it's like smoke is coming out. It is vapor that is coming out from your mouth. So what it means is that water has different states. If the water becomes so close to the fact that it's evaporating, it becomes invisible. It's fused into the air and moves. So if I'm talking to you, I think uh, coronavirus uh, is not really anything new because uh, we know each time you cough, you release a billion microorganisms in the air. So even in economics, we talk about macroeconomics and, and microeconomics. So if you take a telescope and extract everything, you find out even the most cell, they are multi-dimensional, infinite number of microorganisms in the air. So if they say keep safe distance, I'm saying I'm validating their claim or invalidating their claim. But there's no smoke without fire. Everything has a reason. So you aren't supposed to get freezed. Like you go into some museums, you find they say the hunter when he gets into or the warrior when he gets to a war zone, if things turn around the way he doesn't expect, if he freezes, it disappears. I have got information of people who can actually disappear. At least I'm aware from my ancestral home back in the village where we have Uruku Hill, somewhere in, um, is it mist with Midwest of Akokwedo? Now is it Bende Edo? But whatever it's called, I'm talking about the names. I don't care. Names will change with time and space. I'm talking about the information. My matana grandparents has the capacity to call down the rain, make the rain fall, make thunder and lightning appear. 
and if they drop the bees into the water, the water not boil. They have that competence because they there was a sacrifice they make. They needed to isolate themselves and keep away from people and avoid what you needed to avoid. Even women, you can't underestimate them. All human beings have competency. If majority of people say this is what they want, is that not what the universe says? But if I take you into the religious book, they've not really taken too much from it. Because all religious books were they not from African ancestral information that were recreated by the genius of uh, Emperor Constantine in 325 BC and the Nikai Council. Whether you believe it or not, it's irrelevant. I'm here to change your belief. I'm here to even convert you into any religion. The reason is that whether you like it or not, you are living mystery. If you decide to run from pillar to post looking for miracles, is that not your funeral? We have all of them, all those people who say they've been performing magic and miracles. Where are they now? They're dead. Since coronavirus has started, how many people have they healed? How many captives have they set free? If you are lying about to encapsulate your mind, anybody can tell you any bullshit and nonsense. By the time you stand up, don't you drop it down. You should be able to separate yourself from whatever belief you are. If you have a belief in which you cannot tolerate contrary view, that is not a belief. If you say your religion is a religion of peace, and yet somebody says something against your religion, and you bring out your dagger and you start being down. We know truly that your religion is because whatever you believe does not exist and has no capacity. That's why you've now assumed that trend. And so you are now the God claiming to be serving another God who doesn't exist. I'm saying you are part of God. All of us, maybe what the population of the world? Is it uh, 7.2 billion? We are all in all energy energies which constitute to what we call God. But if you create God, we know by implication have created the devil. So in that same vein, if you want to equate them, if you go into the mythology of yin and yang, which is evil and good must balance, or you go into the Buddha, which in the left hand is beating the drums of uh, creation, the right hand is fanning the fan of destruction, they must all balance. So there will always be envy. Envy is the greatest problem in the world, which arose because people think they are cheated. Because some people want it more for themselves. But each time you want it more for the people, for the majority of people. But then in our African climb, what belongs to everybody? Is never nourished, so that's why people steal and steal and steal. But they, no matter how they steal, when they die, they don't know where the money ends. Bury them with their money.